Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 4 video. So yesterday I posted this video. What is the oldest Sims 4 save game I have? And I went through a bunch of my old save games and that was really cool. And then there was this whole part where I was trying to find this house here that I built in my Super Sim Let's Play. I was trying to find it furnished because I didn't save it anywhere. In my four and a bit years of save games of The Sims 4, I don't have it as a furnished version. But then, well, there was a couple of suggestions. So you can see the, the, the price of it, 137,293. That means it was empty because that's just the price of the, the, the house and the walls. Uh, but then there was a couple of suggestions. You know, one was to post the empty one to the gallery and you guys would fill it out. And then the other one was uh, this brilliant comment that I, I'm sorry, I basically was just making a whole video about this. Brilliant comment by Magdalena 12 hours ago. And he said, hey, James. I recently started watching the Super Sim Challenge, and I do remember that you saved Max Towers to your library. You can see in part 56 at 1843. Now, number one, I love how specific this is, and it links to the exact video and actually with the time as well. So if we go here to this video from 8th of November 2016, which is right around the time when City Living released, you can see we've got the house. And uh, lo and behold, I go here and I save it to the gallery. And an important note is that it's got the little uh, custom content icon because obviously we were using the custom Max portraits that we had uh, made and put in the game. So I saved it to my library. Did not share it to the gallery. That's an important note at this point. It is not on the gallery. Anyway, so thanks to that comment, thanks to Magdalena, which by the way, thank you so much because I was so excited. I was like, okay, this, you know, this is boding well for us. This is the news I needed. So now we jump into the game, and <laughs> I obviously checked it last night. It is there, and it's so exciting. So I went to my gallery. I went back. They, but like, it's not even to my gallery. So your library is actually uh, stuff that is stored locally on your computer. Uh, for most of it, anyway. Some of it is uploaded, obviously. Like some of these ones uh, with the little cloud icon are uploaded. All the other ones are just going to be saved uh, locally, which thankfully I don't tend to delete very much. I have reinstalled my computer a few times since this has happened. But I usually always copy every single thing just because I'm like, I know one day I'm going to need it. And I was so happy. So if we go down far enough, we should be able to find it. Uh, thankfully, there's actually not that much extra in my own gallery. I've just got to find... Where, where are we up to? Oh, I went too far back. I think we went past it already. <laughs> I think it's a nighttime one. It doesn't have a good picture or anything. Yeah, here it is. <gasps> I was so happy. Look, I, when I saw that, I was like 552,407. That was the best thing I could ever see. Uh, it doesn't require too much either because it was an early build. Uh, a few stuff packs in there, obviously. Uh, there's no information. Now, I have shared this onto my gallery. So if you do go to my gallery, uh, it is actually up there now. Just make sure you have the toggle to see custom content on because you'll be able to find it that way. Uh, you know, what? I'll feature it on my little gallery homepage too. Uh, yeah, so that's there. So we're going to have a look at this right now. Oh, actually, before I do this real quick, make sure you turn on move objects on just so it places properly, because if it doesn't, then well, you know, anyway, so let's try this. So I, I did obviously find it and I, you know, checked that it had items in it, but I haven't actually taught it and I want to go back and look at it. So this is from 2016, nearly three years ago. So, I mean, it's not super old, but still, this is something, I don't know, this build in particular for me has so much nostalgia because this is, I guess this is the first like kind of let's play that I really built up some sort of legacy and story. Like at the same time, we kind of had the big wallets going around with the Rags of Riches let's plays, but there wasn't that, like there, they weren't really a big story yet, like the, the big wallets. So... Uh, this house used to be smaller. We had to keep expanding it as well. So anyway, let's uh, well actually let's take a look around the outside first because if you haven't seen this yet, we built this. Well, we built it on the live stream, I think, for the most part. Uh, we, and then we added onto it after the fact. But I think some of it was built on a live stream. Then I don't know. Some of you guys in the comments down below, I'm sure you'll note down which episode we actually moved to it. It was super empty when we moved in because we couldn't afford it. Uh, so it's still pretty empty. But this is kind of where we ended up. This is the last version that I have. Uh, and then we moved into this city uh, with City Living, which big regrets there because I nearly lost this house. So we're going to go in here. Now, there used to be some custom items in here, which it's just annoying that it says there's custom content in here because there actually isn't. Um, oh, wait, I already had move objects on, didn't I? Uh, yeah, it's annoying that it says there's custom content because there isn't. We removed it. But what was in here uh, was the custom portraits of Max that I made. Not that one, the bigger one. Here we go. So th Nope, this one. This was actually like here somewhere. I don't know exactly where. I don't know if it was like 
we custom like hung it from the ceiling. I know we scaled it up, and I'm pretty sure I just sat here on this fence like that. Now, you can actually download this uh, if for whatever reason you want to download the big portrait of Max, because the whole idea was his name is Max Power and his house was called Max Towers. So you'd come in to see this giant portrait of him. Uh, yeah, so you can download these on my website. I will link them down below uh, if you want them. Uh, I, I, don't, I honestly don't know why you would, like to be perfectly honest, but if you do and you want to, you know, complete the look of the house, you will need those. Uh, okay, so anyway, that's the, let's, uh, oh, actually, before we continue, there was a portrait of, I believe, Natalie, which is a smaller one. Uh, that was back here. I don't know if there was any others. I don't remember. Uh, so I believe that one was there somewhere, I think. Anyway, let's have a look. I'm, I'm pretty excited for this. Uh, turn off the grid, and let's go down. All right, so there we go. We got the big portrait there. Oh, hey, are you guys going to add in the ability to change the ceiling tiles? I really want that. So we come in here. Got the uh, entrance way. Uh, off to the right, was this, what was, oh, this is the basement. Okay, well, we'll go there later. The basement's later. Let's stay on the ground floor. <gasps> the fish wall. <laughs> that, that was the first time we did the collection of fish. All right, let's continue. So we go down this way. It's a, look, it's a little cramped, but to be honest, we were actually on a budget, even though we were trying not to be. <laughs> and I think the, the, the reason there's a chest table there is we needed it for a skill. So obviously the Super Sim, if you don't know what that is, sorry, I should have given, given a bit of context to this. The Super Sim series is all about obtaining every skill to the maximum level in The Sims 4. Every aspiration has to be completed and every career has to be to level 10. Or you have to work your way through. You can't obviously have all careers at the same time, but you know, work through every career to level 10. So we end up having a lot of these unlockable items and we end up having a lot of uh, skill building items as well. So that is what you'll end up seeing around this place. Like we got this uh, little unlockable there. That's through the roof a little bit. A few more unlockables on that side there as well. Oh, I think that was because anytime you see one of these, it was actually a replaced one of these. And I don't know if we use the big one here. I'm going to use the big one. But yeah, it was actually one of those. All right. So there we go. Even an unlockable computer as well. Look at this. Beautiful. So this is a home office. Then I guess this also goes to the basement. Yeah. Yeah. So this provides another access point so let's go through back into the foyer uh down here i believe what was this i don't know oh the home theater <laughs> very nice so this is before uh we had good chairs for it i guess i don't know but yeah movie hangout stuff had come out <laughs> we've got all these posters there very cool I, I do like this room you know it's simple it's not it's not too big we didn't actually have that much room uh oh that's one of the custom paintings we did actually well not custom but like one of the uh you know, paintings in the game. So this is the kids' playroom. We also had the uh, video game hologram machine thing there as well. Oh, look, the puppet show. Oh, yeah. You know what? We don't use that enough. We need to use that the puppet uh, the puppet show more. That's actually a really cool item. That came in, was it kids' room stuff? I think. Like, that was that's actually pretty cool. That also goes through that. Uh, that castle's sticking through the wall there. Oh, well. Void Critter Station. So that's the kids' playroom. I think this looks great. This is a good looking room with all like the drawing and art on the walls and everything. I think that's cool. Now, who were the kids that we had here? Because we had, uh, I wish I had the family tree on hand. Was it, was it Maxine and Maximilian maybe? I don't know. I can't remember. We had so many kids and we were just having kids because we needed them um, <laughs> for aspiration. So this area is actually completely separate to that. Well, not completely separate, but like you have to, you, you can't come in this area and then walk through the living room. So this is like the bar area. Got the martini light, which was an unlockable as well. Ah, I love that. I actually really like, I really like this room. There's like a weird like throwback room. Some weird like 70s sort of design kind of thing, but a little nicer than the 70s in a way. I guess the colors are sort of uh, pulling me there. We got the, the sort of blues and orange, well not blue, what, like aqua kind of color. And this wall, what is that wall that we did there? <laughs> but here's the other thing. Max is obviously very out there and in your face and he doesn't really care. He's, he's, a, he's a bit of a show off. So that, that, you know, that's why we got all these kind of uh, weird things. Now I believe that's actually a pool and there was a reason we made this a pool. I think it's because you can't do fountains inside or something. It doesn't let you for whatever reason. Anyway, through to the kitchen and dining area. I'll tell you what though, this house is a mash of, uh, like a, a mix and match of different styles. Like you look at, look at this room and then look at this room. And then even just look at the foyer. <laughs> it's all different styles. You know what? That's pretty funny though. So we got the dining area, the kitchen. I do like the kitchen. Again, doesn't match the rest of the house, but I do like it. Uh, now I believe, was this like a laundry or something back here? Oh no, it was like the, uh, so we had some more appliances. I think when we had like a butler and all that, we could go in there. That's where the bin is as well. So we could keep the kitchen clean, but have all the stuff we needed. 
It's pretty nice. Then this was the bathroom. Yeah. This is nice. I do like this one. Very simple. All right. So then I guess we will go. Let's go outside. I mean, we kind of saw outside before. Got a nice table there. Is that a, ho a book of homework on the table? <laughs> a swimming pool. Oh, this is where we grew all our dragon fruit plants. Oh, I, I, why isn't the rocket built? We, this is our rocket launch site. It was really cool because it used to stick all the way out. So if you build up a rocket there, it actually looks really cool, and especially when it launches. I've got all the play equipment out here as well. Ah, oh, I love- I'm so excited that there's a bowl on the hub. I hate- I hate- Can they not have some if statement being like, you know, if wall taller than sim, do not place plate or something. I don't know. <laughs> like, what, why- I hate how that happens. It's so annoying. All right, anyway, let's go back over this way. Should we go- I guess let's go down before we go up. So we come down- wait, where's the stairs? Uh, that's a good question. Here we go. So we come down the stairs. So this is when we started- we needed more stuff because we ran out of room. So in here is the gym. Obviously we needed it for the fitness skill, uh, the wellness skill as well. So that's what we use this home gym for. And then through here was like a sauna slash, uh, bathroom. Oh, slash massage room. Wait, do we not- maybe we don't have a sauna. Oh no, the sauna's in here. Yeah, I thought we did. Yeah, so we got the sauna in there. Got the massage rooms that are in here. Like, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty out there, you know. And then back through this way, what do we have? Oh, God. Oh, what is this? <gasps> when we're doing photography and we're setting up these stupid scenes. We had the toilet with the flowers and, oh, that used, didn't we used to have a Twitch emote that was the toilet with the flowers? All right, which room is which? Let's go through here. I don't remember this. This is our, I guess, science lab? I don't know. We just needed all these items for whatever skills or jobs that we were doing at the time. So this is kind of where they went. What is this? Oh, this is the rocket launch site. Yeah, yeah. so that goes to the launch site. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this is like the lab. Very nice. They always seem to love this computer too. They always came down to this room and worked on that. So that's there. What's, oh, hello. What's in here? The workshop. Eh, it's not, not great, but uh, it's functional. Uh, to the right we have, oh, he's, yeah. <gasps> Can this be, this is the thumbnail. Come on. It's like we, <laughs> Gonna be like, we found it. <laughs> I don't know, is this a good thumbnail though? Will people know what this is? Maybe just that with no text. And I just call it, we found it. <laughs> All right, so down here, we go down to the next level. This, I think, didn't this level get dark? Uh, so we've got the wine cellar or the nectar cellar with a nice bar. I feel like this level gets a little evil. This is not too bad. You know, some plotting devices and a stolen ATM machine. Oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> yeah, this is where it gets evil. We've got five dead people. We've got this evil red light, and that's actually a death flower plant. Wait, who, who, can we see who's in these? Oh, no, I want to see. This is, uh, I guess it probably didn't save the people, right? If you save it to a gallery. I, I don't know how that works. It, might, it probably didn't save them. Anyway, so that's the basement. Uh, all the basement levels there. Interesting. So now I want to go back here. And let's check out the next level. So there's a couple more levels if we go up. So if we go up here. Come up to the landing. This is kind of like a, um, a foyer sort of recreation area. We've got the fish collection wall. Oh, I forgot I did that. <gasps> that's amazing. Ah, that's so funny. Oh, yes. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> the Because <bar> <laughs> obviously the front of him, we have that, and then I thought it would be funny, clearly, to, and I totally forgot about this until right now. I thought it would be funny if on the other side you just saw the back of him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. I love that. Alright, so we got the... <laughs> We got the fish collection here, which we never actually quite finished. Actually, maybe we did. We might have finished the base game collection. I don't think we finished anything beyond that. Uh, so down here on the right, what do we have? This is one of the kids' bedrooms. I don't know. I can't remember whose rooms these were. I do remember the kids being in here. Um, interesting wall pattern choice there. I don't know why I did that. thought it was cool, clearly. Uh, in here, we've got another room. Uh, these are obviously really styled to whoever was in them. Uh, well, actually, not really. I, I don't even know if we really had characters for my kids. <laughs> I don't remember them that well, clearly. Uh, this one was for- wasn't this for Maxine? So this one, if we go outside, it was actually supposed to be a self-contained unit. So, got the main house there, but you could actually enter this unit from here. So you'd sort of come up this way, and it's actually its own apartment, was the idea. And then we'd lock that door, just to be, you know, accessible by- from interior for whoever needs it. 
But this unit has its own set of stairs. It goes up, has its own living room and office and all that. Has its own bathroom through there. And then actually has a couple of bedrooms as well. Because we got the uh, her bedroom in there. And then I think a second bedroom. Because I think she even had a kid that we needed. Maybe. Anyway, so that was her self-contained unit, which was pretty cool. Uh, then back out this way, we have the main bathroom for this floor through here. Pretty impressive. It's pretty big. You know, got a toilet in there, nice shower. Uh, you know, I think it's quite nice. Uh, and then down this way is obviously the master bedroom. This is where Max and Natalie uh, slept. Actually, this is where we, we met Natalie in this house. She was the maid uh, originally. So we've got the sort of robe area over here for changing and getting ready. And then the middle was actually the bathroom, the ensuite. Also very nice, in my opinion. My opinion! And then down here we've got a big skylight, and we also have the main bed area. And you get a nice- you get, there's like loads of windows, loads of light. And just imagine that uh, they have like the opaque glass switch to, you know, turn off the windows or something, because otherwise it'd be way too bright. And then we go upstairs. And this is kind of like, oh, we need this item space of the house. Like, oh, we need a DJ booth because we need it for that that skill or whatever. Um, this is when we forgot that we- well, I say we. This is when I forgot that I had another chess table downstairs already, so I put another one up here. And then we got the piano up here, and I think this is just a bathroom here? Oh, no, 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 that's the unit. No, the bathroom's over here, sorry. Yeah, so this was the self-contained unit, so you could access this floor through here as well. And then down here is the bathroom. That's right, yeah, because all the bathrooms sort of stacked on top of each other. Similar to the other ones. And then out here was all the outdoor stuff that we may need. Just like a little... You know, a little sort of patio area. So that's pretty much the house. Uh, I'm so glad that this is here. I'm so happy. It's so good. Uh, yeah, because I was saying the bathroom. The bathrooms are like all in the same spot, which I actually quite like because it was easy to do. So there you go. That is uh, Max Towers. This is what I really wanted to get back. I don't know. There's just so much history in this build. Uh, it was so exciting. So like I said, if you do want to download it, I will link it down below. Or you can just go to my gallery and find it there. So you can uh, get the link to this download below. You can also get the link to the, uh, you know, the portrait of Max. <laughs> Does this have... What about the other colors? Does it do that with... No, no, no. I only did it with him. I didn't do it with Natalie. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching, guys, and thank you so much to Magdalena for that epic find. Um, I know, I know, a few other people did also comment on a similar thing, saying I did save it to my library, but it was Magdalena's one that really got me to find it because you had the exact time when I did it, and I was able to go back to the exact point, find it, and I also knew that it had the custom content tag on it too, so I was able to find it. So thank you so much for that. I really, really appreciate it. I'm so excited by this. But thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time, and have. An awesome day.